Hi, my name is Matt Saxby. I'm a DUP from Sweden and I'm shooting mostly drama uh, all over the world, I would say, but mostly in Sweden, of course. Uh, I came in contact with this rig first uh, in, the, in the end of the 1990s, I would say, yeah. And uh, I was very suspicious in the beginning because I, was, uh, I felt I was locking the camera. I will, feel free but just after a few days I was forced to use it because uh, my back started to hurt so so and then I learned got the hang of it and after that I mean I, I would say I will never do handheld without these rig actually I did that once uh, uh, because I forgot my own is rig and it was terrible and very heavy <laughs> I should Mostly dramas uh, and, and uh, movies for, for cinema. But a year ago, I was in uh, in New Delhi in India shooting a, a movie called uh, The Most Beautiful Hands of Delhi. It was a three episode, one hour feature, and um, been started for a few years ago with the. Oh God, I can't remember what I've done. <laughs> Isrig uh, makes it uh, much easier for me to to uh, to work uh, long hours uh, with handheld. I, I never get tired in my back, and it's the camera is getting a lot more steady with the Isrig and then without it because you, all the sm small shakes uh, absorbs in the Isrig, so the vibrations and stuff. And you can you can also find angles that you would never use if you don't have the Isrig. You can go you can go just below the shoulder, uh, very easy. Uh, or you can sit down and, and jib up and stuff like that. That would, would be almost impossible with uh, just going handheld. The Easter rig most definitely changed the, the industry. Uh, I'm surprised, I haven't, I haven't seen uh, any other rigs uh, that you can compare with the Easter rig actually. I think it's the best. <laughs> 